So I'm pretty sure I mentioned the middleware and how I just didn't like it in Next.js, especially when you're using the output standalone mode. Like you just run into weird things that just don't work. But it turns out there's actually a giant security vulnerability if you're hosting Next.js on like a VPS, which unfortunately is what I do. I host my Next.js applications on Railway inside of a Docker image. Um, but luckily, I never trusted the middleware because it just didn't connect to my databases correctly. So if you look at my middleware file, it doesn't actually do anything because I believe the way you should secure your application is on your server actions and also on whatever is fetching data from the database. You need to have authentication authorization checks at that level. I personally never believed or trusted putting authentication checks and authorization checks solely in the middleware. I think the middleware is more of like a helper thing that can just help your application load a little faster. But remember, always protect your endpoints. And when you make a server action, when someone clicks on a button and that invokes some backend code, you should be protecting that. When a page loads, you should be double checking that the person loading that data from your database is who they say they are and they have the keys to your data. Now, I don't really have too many comments about this security issue, mainly because I've been using Tanstack Start in my videos now. I kind of switched over from Next.js. I'm not saying Next.js is bad. I still think it's a really great uh, framework if you want to build out a full stack application. It just has a little bit of things that along the way of using it on my channel for like two plus years, I just kind of stopped caring about. And unfortunately, this Next.js security issue kind of made me stop caring about it even more. Let's talk about how it works. So basically, in your middleware behind the scenes, Next.js has some logic where if the request has an X middleware sub request, and I believe it has to check if the value is set to something, then it's going to actually just bypass the middleware function and just go straight to your endpoint. Now, I don't know if I truly understand why this would be here. To prevent recursive requests from triggering infinite loops, the security report showed it was possible to skip running middleware, which could allow requests to skip critical checks, such as authorization cookie validation before reaching routes. Now, to be honest, I'm not sure what the point of this is. Like, when would a recursive infinite loop happen? I'm guessing if the middleware is making a request back to another resource on your Next.js application, then this recursive loop can happen, which I'm guessing, like, if you had a fetch request inside your middleware that's fetching from a same, you know, endpoint of your application. But then again, I don't know how they would attach a, a header manually to your fetch request. But again, they overwrote the fetch functionality and they like kind of made it their own. So who knows, maybe they're like injecting headers for you unknowingly when you call fetch inside your middleware. I'm sure someone who cares more can leave a comment about that. Luckily, this only affects standalone mode. So if you are actually using Vercel, this will not affect you. Unfortunately, I don't use Vercel. I use standalone mode on everything, but luckily I don't use middleware. So again, if you're trying to do Next.js and deploying it to like your own VPS and standalone mode, you should probably go and update Next.js as soon as possible. This is my little public service announcement because I do make a lot of Next.js content on my channel and it would probably be nice to let people know that this exists if you haven't heard about it already. For the things that are not affected, if your application is hosted on Vercel or NetLofi, or if you deployed your application as a static export without middlewares, you'll be fine. Looks like they updated it for every major version in the past four versions, 15, 14, 13, and 12. So just make sure you update those in your package JSON. But I don't think this is the first time I've seen an issue with middlewares. I, I believe there was another third-party service that was using middlewares, and that also had a security issue that required a quick update to fix it, where people could bypass your middleware functions. So I think the takeaway of this is when you're building out software, the more layers of abstraction you add on to your frameworks and library, the more difficult it is to make sure your code does what you think it is. So looking at this blog post, it looks like you actually have to set a particular value depending on the Next.js version, which to me just sounds like a, a code smell. Like why would adding this cause it to bypass the middleware? Why would having it set to a certain page cause it to bypass middleware. That to me is very strange. It's almost like someone added in code that probably should never have been added in the first place. I'm gonna go ahead and explain what their analysis is of this bug. Basically, every time a middleware runs, Next.js checks a special header called X middleware sub request. Number two, this header contains a count of how many times the middleware has run. Three, if it has run too many times, five by default, Next.js skips the middleware entirely. 
which probably explains that last blog post where it had middleware colon middleware colon middleware. They're probably just attacking on a token to count how many times the middleware has run and then they just end early to prevent that recursive loop that was mentioned over here, which honestly is pretty crazy. Like, I don't know why they would even have this in a function that's supposed to sit in front of all of your routes and all of your API endpoints and is supposed to be used specifically for reroutings and authentication and authorization checks. Why would you ever have code that can be bypassed is beyond me. I'm guessing there's some weird scenario where in Next.js, if you write your middleware a little bit wrong, it just recursively calls itself and probably completely runs up your bill. And so they added this as a, a stopgap to prevent that and prevent people's bills from going through the roof. But I guess doing that caused a giant security vulnerability. So anyway, I think that's all I want to talk about. I guess if you guys have more information, I know you guys come to me for more information, but honestly, I just don't really care. So leave a comment if you understand some of the questions that I asked out loud, I think it'd be good to talk about. Or if you just want to support my channel, leave a comment that says middleware colon five times, just so I know you watched my video this far. Other than that, I have a Discord channel I'm trying to grow. Link is below if you want to join the final place to kind of talk and hang out with other developers. We promise we won't be mean to you there. Come join us. Actually, I can't promise that. There's some people on there who are a little bit unhinged. So come join if you want to talk about coding. And like always, have a good day. Happy coding. And please update your Next.js instance if you are doing standalone mode.